Hey y'all, Wacky Wormer here with episode 2 of my modded Minecraft playthrough. This is the Hermit Pack mod pack for Minecraft 1.10.2, and I've also added the Applied Energistics 2 nightly build to this as well. Now, last episode you saw where I dug a small hole in the ground, and you'll notice I've since expanded that to a nice little 9x9. That'll give us plenty of room for expansion, at least for the early game, the very early game. But you'll also notice that last episode I crafted a wooden pickaxe, and that pickaxe is now gone. It's not gone, I should say it's been upgraded. So the process for upgrading tools and tinkers is pretty simple. You want to come over here to this part builder and craft your new component out of whatever material you want it to be out of. So for me I crafted a stone pickaxe head. Then you're going to come over here to the tool station, put your tool into this center slot here, and then put your part in any of these surrounding slots, it doesn't matter which, and you'll get your new upgraded tool as an output here and you'll also have the chance to rename the tool and all that good stuff. So, pretty easy stuff. You'll also notice I have a new tool here. This is a stone mattock. If you don't know what it is, remember you can always come over here and click on the icon on the left side. You get a nice text description here of what it is, along with a list of components required to build it. The mattock is a direct replacement for the hatchet, which is Tinker's version of an axe, the shovel, and the hoe. So it's a 3-in-1 tool that's really nice, and I needed one because I had no food production. So I came out here just a little bit earlier and tilled up the soil and planted some wheat seeds so I can get some food production going. You'll see these worms here. I'm actually not sure if this is 110.2 vanilla stuff or if it's part of a mod. I suspect it's part of a mod. But what they appear to do is when you're tilling up soil, you have some amount of chance to find a worm. And then you pick up the worm, you actually put the worm down in a non-tilled soil or grass. So I could put the worm out here or wherever. And then uh, over the course of a minute or so, the worm's actually going to till up all of that grass for you. So I plopped the worm down here and I didn't till any of this right here up manually. The worm did it for me. I've also seen on the Hermit Pack server that there is some chance for it to have a bone mill type effect on some of the surrounding crops. I haven't personally seen that here, but I did see it on some of the Let's Plays there, so I know it's going to happen, and obviously it's a fairly rare chance because, you know, free worms, free bone mill is pretty OP, right? So it makes sense that it's a fairly rare thing and that I haven't seen it yet. Um, so for today's episode, our goals are a couple things. Number one, I need to get some redstone in order to do any progression and mechanism. Redstone is it's not required for the earliest generator to generate power, but for all of the machines, redstone is required. And to get redstone, that means I'm going to need at least an iron pickaxe or better, right? Well, I don't want to drop the resources into a vanilla iron pickaxe that I can't upgrade or, or do anything with. So for today's episode I'm actually going to keep focusing on tinkers and I'm going to build a smeltery. Building a smeltery is going to require that you harvest up at least a stack or so of sand, gravel, and clay. And I've definitely got plenty of sand here. There's a nice bunch of clay there. I'm sure I can find gravel fairly nearby, but I'm going to do that off camera so you don't have to watch. Alright, I've gathered up the materials needed for the Tinker Smeltery. We've got a stack of gravel, a stack of sand, and a stack of clay. We're going to put all three of those into a crafting grid. Each iteration of this is going to give us two grout, so we'll get two stacks of grout. And then I'm just going to throw all of this in the furnace and let that smelt up. Now while that's smelting, I also have materials for the Applied Energistics 2 grindstone. Now, I would look this up in JEI, but the last time I tried it crashed on me, so I'm just going to go by memory here. I know that first I need a wooden gear, and then I'm going to take the rest of these materials and arrange them like so. I believe this goes here, this goes here. Yes, and that gets us the quartz grindstone. To operate this piece of machine, we need a wooden turn handle, wooden crank, and that's that. So I'm going to plop this down right next to our furnace. Shift click to get the crank on there. 
And now we have manual ore doubling, and that's really nice because I don't like to waste materials. It sucks. So I've got some iron and some copper and some osmium. Osmium is for mechanism. I'm going to throw all of those in there. I'll grind those up manually, which you do just by holding down the right mouse button. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, and then once all this gets smelted up, then I'll be ready to construct smeltery. First, then the controller, then the drain. Don't forget we need to put uh, the faucet on the drain, but once you get this animation here, this is saying that the multi-block structure is correct and recognized, and we can right-click on it and then have access to it. But before we do that, we're going to put our drain on there, our faucet, and then our crafting table. Uh, smelting table right there and that's everything so now we have a functional smeltery I'm gonna go ahead and put some lava into this tank and we'll see in here we can measure how much lava we have and the temperature it's at so that's great I'm going to throw in a few iron ingots in I also need to throw in some clay because before we can cast a pickaxe head we need something to cast it into and the wooden cast uh, patterns over here we have just aren't going to cut it so what we're going to have to do is fire up some clay so I'm going to put some clay in here I'll put a blocks worth of clay in and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to craft a stone pickaxe head I'm not sure this this used to not work with wooden materials so I'm going to go ahead and do stone I'm not sure if that's changed or not but what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this pickaxe head down here on the table. And then once this clay is melted up, we'll be able to pour the clay over this and basically get a mold of the pickaxe head. If you hover over the material down here, you can see how much you have of each material. And it's useful to know that the one showing on the bottom is what's going to come out of the faucet. So we want to click the clay so that it moves down to the bottom and that's what comes out right click the faucet there let's see how much so we still have two ingots of clay so it looks like that took two balls of clay is my guess so we've lost our pickaxe head but we've now gained a clay mold now the important thing about clay molds is that these are um, I forget the term for it uh, but you're gonna lose the mold when you pour this metal in here and that's fine Clay is fairly cheap, and especially with the changes where clay is found underground and stuff, it's, it's not too bad. It's okay to lose it. You can also make these casts out of gold, and once you make them out of gold, you will not lose the cast, like we just did there with the clay. So now we have a iron pickaxe head. We can come over here to our tool station, and if we throw our tool and the head, then we get a new iron pickaxe. And that's pretty awesome, right? So this guy has a much higher mining level. We can mine up to diamond now, which includes redstone, which is what we need to get started in mechanism. It's going to mine faster. It's going to attack for more. It has more modifiers. Uh, just a much better pickaxe. And I could go through and do the same for the Matic and everything else, but I'm not too concerned with that yet. Um... I think that's going to wrap us up for the episode. We've got the grindstone made, we got the smeltery up and running, we're ready to harvest redstone, and then so between this episode and next I'll grab some redstone, some gold, and a few other materials so that we can go ahead and push through and actually start mechanism in the next episode. So I will see you guys then.